Hi children, welcome back. Today we are starting with a new chapter that is chapter 11, area and its boundary. Children, chapter 3, you have a chapter 3, there is how many squares. In that chapter, you are learning about perimeter and area, which you have already learned last year. So, I am combining these two chapters together uh, and we will be discussing the topics perimeter and area. So, now chapter 11, area and its boundary. First topic is perimeter. What is perimeter, children? Yes, perimeter is the distance around the edge of a figure. You have learned it last year, isn't it? Perimeter is the distance around the edge of a figure. If you have a figure, closed figure, you and if you have the measures of those all the sides, you add up all the sides to get the perimeter, isn't it? So, we say it is the distance around the edge of the figure or you can also say it is the length of the boundary of a closed plane figure. It is the length of the boundary of a closed plane figure. Now, we are going to go a bit detail. Before that, we will just have a small revision on what is perimeter, how to find out perimeter. You have a figure over here. Find the perimeter of the following figure. So, how did we find out perimeter children? Here you have a figure. The length of the sides are given to you. So, we will find out the perimeter. How do you find out? You write perimeter equal to you add up all the sides, right? So, 10 centimeter plus 4 centimeter plus 9 centimeter plus 5 centimeter plus 6 centimeter plus 4 centimeter. So, these are the sides of the figure. Altogether, there are 6 sides 10 centimeter, 4 centimeter, 9 centimeter, 5 centimeter, 6 centimeter, and 4 centimeter. Now you add up what you get, 10, here you have 6 and 4, 10, so 10 and 10 you get 20, plus 9 you get 29, then you have a 4 and 5 left, 4 and 5 together gives you 9, so 29 plus 9 will give you 38 centimeter. So this is how we found out perimeter last year, isn't it? You had a figure, okay, and you were asked to find out the perimeter. What did we do? We added up all the sides. The same topic is coming in chapter number 3. So, I have included that in this chapter. Okay. So, specifically we won't be taking chapter 3 for you. So, it is the same topic that is coming in chapter 11. So, this is how we find out perimeter. Now, we are going to go a bit deeper into the topic perimeter. We are going to learn how to find out the perimeter of regular polygons. Before coming to regular polygons, what is polygons children? What is polygons? You have learned it. What is polygons? It is a figure made up of line segments, right? It is a figure made up of line segments. Polygon is a figure made up of line segments only and it is a closed figure. But when the word regular comes, when the word regular comes, the meaning over there is regular polygon means the figure is made up of line segments, but these line segments are sides of the figure, right? All the sides of the figure will be equal. All the sides of the figure will be equal. A regular polygon is made up of line segments called its sides. We know the figure is made up of line segments. Those line segments are called the sides of the figure. All of equal length. All the sides will be of equal length. Even the angles also will be equal. Okay. But right now we are dealing only with the sides. The, ang the sides and the angles will be equal equal okay so we'll just discuss few regular polygons over here how to find out the perimeter of a regular polygon as i told you a regular polygon is a polygon which is made up of line segments but all the sides are equal over there so how will we find out the perimeter over there you can take the number of sides you have to look into the figure and see how many sides that figure is having Take the number of sides, multiply it with the length of one side. Multiply it with the length of one side. See, you have a figure here, a square. A square is a regular polygon. Why? We know in a square all the four sides are equal. So, I can say a square is a regular polygon. Next one, equilateral triangle. We know a triangle is having three sides. But when you give a name for this, equilateral triangle. When you give a name, equilateral triangle, 
it is a triangle where all the three sides are equal. So, I can say this is a regular polygon. Next, you know that is a hexagon, right? But when all the sides of the hexagon are equal, then I can say it is a regular hexagon. It is known as regular hexagon. So, if I want to find the perimeter of these regular polygons, what should I do? The length of the sides will be given, right? Suppose the length of the side is A over here. I have four sides. We know all the four sides are equal, right? So, instead of adding A four times, what I can do? I can multiply A with four. Similarly, if here it is L, you know all the three sides will be L, right? So, I can multiply the L with three to get the perimeter. Okay. Similarly, hexagon. Suppose I give the letter M. All the sides will be M because it is a regular hexagon. Hexagon means how many sides children? Six sides. So, to find the perimeter what I can do? I can multiply 6 with M. So, that is the M means the length of the side. I have just given you a letter over here. Suppose the value was 5. 6 into 5, you will get 30. So, the perimeter of the regular hexagon is 30. So, when you have perimeter of regular polygons, if you are given a regular polygon to you, to find out the perimeter, you just have to take the number of sides, multiply it with the length of one side. Okay? Now, we are going to learn the perimeter of two figures, which is very important for us. Perimeter of a square, just now I have told you how to find the perimeter of a square. We know a square is a regular polygon. Regular polygon means all the sides will be equal. So, what instead of adding all the four sides, I can multiply the uh, length of one side with four. I can multiply the length of one side with four. So, four into length of one side. And if I give a letter for that, I can give any letter. So, I have given A. So, I can write the formula as perimeter of the square is equal to 4 into A. Okay. Similarly, next one, perimeter of a rectangle. We know in a rectangle, rectangle is also a figure with four sides. But what is the difference over here? Opposite sides are equal. Right? Two sides will be longer, two sides will be shorter. Usually, we call the longer side as length, denoted by small l. Okay? And the shorter sides, we call it as breadth, also known as width. Some questions, you will have the word width. Width and breadth, both are same. Okay? So, you have two longer sides and two shorter sides. Longer side, usually we represent with the, we use the word length represented by small letter L. Shorter side is known as breadth or width represented by the letter B or small w. Okay. So, how to find the perimeter of a rectangle? How do you find usually the perimeter? We add up all the sides, right? I have done the same thing over here. I have added up all the sides. Length, that is L plus B plus L plus B. L plus B plus L plus B. I have added all the four sides. Now, I can see two L's over here. So, I can write over here 2 L. I can see two B's over here. So, I can write 2 B. Okay. So, L plus L is 2 L. B plus B is 2 B. Now, what I can see over here? 2 is common. So, I take out 2 and I put in bracket L plus B. If I take out 2 and put it in, uh, in the bracket L plus B, it is understood. This 2 is for L and this 2 is for B also. So, 2 L plus 2 B. So, instead of writing it like this, I can, in short, I can write 2 times L plus B. So, to find out the perimeter of rectangle, what I can do? I can add the length and breadth once and multiply by 2. Instead of adding it 4 times, I will add the length and breadth once and I will multiply by 2. So, how to find the perimeter of a rectangle? 2 into L plus B. And how to find the perimeter of a square? 4 into length of one side. These two formulas you have to study. It is very important. You have questions based on that. Okay? Now, find the perimeter of a square. The side of the square is given to you 3 centimeter. You have to find the perimeter of the square. How to find out the perimeter of the square children? What was the formula? 4 into length of one side. I represent it as the letter A. 4 into A. 4 into A. And what is that A? It is the length of one side. 
length of one side that is the side of the square is given to you side of the square is given to you so the length of one side 3 cm length of one side is given as 3 cm so i'll multiply the 3 with 4 i get the perimeter of the square as 12 cm okay similarly side of the square is given 18 cm okay you have to find the perimeter of the square perimeter of the square is 4 into a that is 4 into length of one side what is the length of one side given to you 18 so 4 into 18 that is equal to 72 cm so how do you find the perimeter of the square you have to multiply the length of one side by 4 you get the perimeter of the square instead of adding it four times you are multiplying that particular length of one side with 4 okay so once again we'll just revise what we have learned in this video we have learned what is a perimeter perimeter is a distance around the edge of the figure or perimeter is the length of the boundary of a closed plane figure then we learned perimeter when we did a question based on perimeter then we learned perimeter of regular polygons we learned perimeter of regular polygons we learned what is a regular polygon a regular polygon is a polygon made up of line segments in which all the sides are of equal length and the angles also will be equal so perimeter of a regular polygon to find the perimeter of a regular polygon you just have to take the length of one side and multiply by the number of sides take the length of one side and multiply by the number of sides then what did we learn we learned how to find the perimeter of a square take the length of one side multiply by 4 then we learned how to find the perimeter of a rectangle how to find the perimeter of a rectangle add the length and breadth and multiply by 2 first you have to add the length and breadth and then you have to multiply by 2 so these formulas are very important you have to study it when you have questions first you have to write the formula and then you have to apply the values to get the answer that is very important when you write the formulas you are scoring marks over there so don't forget to write the formulas first write the formula write perimeter of the rectangle equal to or perimeter of the square equal to write down the formula first then apply the values and find out the answer clear children thank you